This is the Watermill at Ings, pub and brewery. It also does accommodation. I think it has eight rooms. Beer, wide selection of traditional beers, uh, going up from a 3.5. This is the brewery at Ings. What barrel plant is it this? Uh, well, technically it's a five, but you can group up maybe about five and a half. Yeah. And you are Polish, are you? I am. Oh, you speak very good English. <laughs> well, I'm trying to, but no, I'm far away from being good. Well, I've been here for uh, ten years actually in England. Sure. Then. And did you uh, brew over in Poland? No, no. You know, so it's new to you? Well, it was new, which I believe it's not bad because then there is uh, everything's done to the British standard, you see. Sure. Then I'm not trying to put anything from that part of the world into yeah. the British brew. It's done how it should be. I believe. Sure, yeah. I had a British teacher and, and, and then I'm trying to follow. And do they have uh, breweries like this in Poland? Or? Uh, at this moment, there is, I'm not really sure how many, but I would say it's. It's, out, it's less than, uh, than 100 brewers yeah. on this side, in the whole country, I would say. Very good. And in only in Cumbria, it's about, about 100, I think. Sure. Quite a lot, quite yeah. a lot. Yeah. yeah. And how old is this brewery? Is it about 20? Uh, well, the brewery itself, it's about nine years, I think. Oh, yeah. They started in 2006, and then it's nine, nine and a half at this moment, more or less. And the brewing kit, I would say, Maybe 20 years, maybe 15. Wow. Uh, they brought it from America, you see, from Amer from uh, sure. from United States. Yeah. Then it's not standard British setup, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, everything is molded in the frame, which I mean, it's, it's nice. It's saving you space, but if you need to move anything, you just you just simply cannot. But it's fairly easy to brew beer. It's not uh, difficult. Well, it is. The good thing is that everything, you know, lots of them fixed collections, you see. Sure. Uh, then whatever you need to do, you can just use the valves without playing with the with the pipe or without the, uh, with the hoses. Sure. And that's saving lots of time and lots of effort. Very good. Uh, very often, whenever you've got the, the standard set, you've got three separate pieces of equipment. Yeah. And then if you've got enough hoses, you just need to use the pipes and the clamps or whatever you got and then connect yeah. it. Yeah. Then in this case, that's saving lots of time. Sure. And this is the very good one as well. The, the pump, which is in the middle of. Yeah. yeah. Then using it, you can actually transfer the liquids from from every part of the yeah. of the kit to the other part. Or you can you can release it to the, to the fermenter using this this outlet here. Yeah. yeah. Very that's, good. That's how yeah. Come. And I suppose you uh, you get the um, the customs uh, visiting every so often. Uh, yes. Well, <laughs> we, are, we are the first one today. I had somebody on on Sunday as well. All oh, right. Uh, yeah. We we go around. Uh, well, just, just to give you an idea, there's got three fermenters. That's the one of them, and the other two in this in this part of sure, the room. Sure. And then you've got a uh, few. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh, this is a cooling the cooling. Well, it's, it's a cooling room or the conditioning conditioning room. Uh, three tanks as well. All of them are well. They are called nine bars, but that's American American bar. Ah. It's slightly smaller. And the British one, right? Uh, then it's about seven British bars, I would say. So, what uh, what would be the equivalent barrelage in a as a, a British barrel barrel plant? Uh, would it be five barrels or? Uh, well, the five bars. Mm. Do you mean in liters or in the? Well, uh, each each British brewery goes on uh, the barrelage, so you get. What, uh, what's that mean basically? Well, uh, well, this is, uh, this is the quarter of the bar. Yeah, it's the it's that? it's the capacity of the whole brewery. So yes, it is it is. Exactly. That's what you can actually get out of the out of the plant. The content of the of the fermenter, I would say. Yeah. After after once the brew is done, uh, let's say you're aiming for for five barrels, which means you're aiming yeah. for twenty casks of this yeah. size. They yeah. are Perkins. Yeah. Uh, nine gallons each. Then you're yeah. aiming for twenty yeah. of them, and that's yeah. mean five barrels exactly. Yeah. So all the all the uh, all the barrelage. Is is like that? Yo, you've got the odd. Uh, we've, got, we've got some plastic ones. These are stainless. And yeah. That's stainless steel. I'm not yeah. sure what is that exactly stainless steel or something else. Uh, I think it might be something else, like yeah. a, like a different uh, different alloy. Yeah. But uh, well, they are cheaper. Uh, oh wow. Lighter. Easier, yeah. Easier to maintain. Yeah. 
Uh, and probably easy to, perhaps easier to clean as well, I would imagine. I would or, say so, yeah. yeah, because obviously they are lighter than another thing is you can see through if you get into the light. Yeah. Or even if you've got a torch, you can just put the torch aside and have a look and then you can see. Yeah. Inside and the they works. don't, uh, they won't crack in cold conditions uh, or, or possibly? Well, they don't. But actually, because cold is alright, the, the, the sunlight is not the good one. Yes. Uh, if you leave the cast like this, yeah, it would get warm in hot get, weather. Basically, the hot hot weather, the heat temperature, sure. and, the, and, the, and the sunlight will, will damage yeah, it. Yeah. But that's long process. It's not, yeah. it's not going to happen so hopefully, the day. So hopefully, it will be, be drunk before that uh, happens. No, no, well, <laughs> that, that's a different story. I'm talking about empty cask. Oh, sure, yeah. Once, yeah. You got it, once you got it full, you're not supposed to keep it anywhere. Over over 12 or 13 degrees of Celsius, because right. simply you will lose the beer. Sure. The sure. idea is once you got it, I will show you how it should be basically. Let's move to another room. Uh, well, this is another room. This is one. So oh, wow. Stage. Be careful of this. Yeah. It's a bit tight in here. Yeah. Oh. I have the same problem. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the last stage of, of, of my of my of my job, the, the cellar. Yeah. And the beer sits in here. It's actually getting its quality. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, it's conditioning. Yes, yeah. It's, yeah, exactly. It's conditioning in here. Uh, all of this is ready for sale. Actually, it can go to that door, the other customers. Yeah. Or it's going in the stages and then yeah. it's sold to them. So you yeah. sell the beer throughout the area? Uh, yes, um, but not, not, not all of it. I would say maybe 20, 30 percent of the brewing sure. is going outside. The rest sure. of it stays in here. Very good. That's how it's done. Yeah. Obviously, we've got some bottles available as well. Yes. Well, I know that you have a. Do you bottle the beer here, or do you send no, it out? No, we cannot. Really. We need to send yeah. it. Uh, we need to send it away to. Uh, to somebody else. Very good. Uh, but, you know, there's technically there is no room in here sure. for, for another another machine or another yeah. plant. You see, yeah. it could be nice to have a little watering plant somewhere. Yeah. And you could do things to order. Yeah. Uh, I've seen it many times in, in different places actually. Yeah. They can do beer from one of them or from this even type of the tank. You can just you can just keep it done right for you. Sure. They will take the yeah. bottles, they will take the labels, and then yeah. they will do it at the front of you, and yeah. then you can take it home. Yeah. Was in our case, yeah. it's impossible. Yeah. We, we are actually staying here, and last yeah. night I had the 9% beer, which was absolutely fabulous. It really is beautiful, beautiful drink, a bit like a barley wine. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm very impressed with the beers. It's, it's, a, it's my favorite, actually. It's uh, the most, well, it's very, it's time consuming, I would say, because sure. you, you need to do it slightly differently. Yeah. And the fermentation is longer, the maturation is much, much longer. Yeah. Uh, but the final product is sure. really, really nice. So and you source all the malt and hops locally or do you have to go abroad or...? Uh, well, we, we are basically have to rely on the, on, the, on the Charles Farrell, that's our supplier. Sure. Uh, then, then he is in charge of getting the hops from abroad. And we've got different types of the hops. We've got hops from, from England, for example, uh, yeah. the Challenger hops, that's sure. a British one. Sure. Uh, we've got the Mountcourt, the American hop. Sure. Uh, there's uh, Sabinski, I believe it's from Slovakia. Yeah. Uh, there's some Brewers Gold, and that's for them from France. Sure. To try it. And, uh, and this Pioneer, which is, uh, I'm not sure what you're saying, I think it's I'm not sure where it's from, to be honest. Do you use New Zealand hops or...? No, no, nothing like no not American? No, no, no. Not, not no, well, nothing like... Uh, we do nothing like the uh, idea, like uh, American beer, you see. No. Uh, there's, there's nothing like, like the style of the beer yet. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, no, there's nothing like, nothing like the new wave of the beers yet. Basically doing the, the old style. That's right. Uh, yeah. 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 The, uh, the ends and the, the sure. old ale. The 7% of yeah. the old yeah. ale, actually. Sure, sure. That's, that's how it's sure. Very good. It's not the barley wine, technically, because the gravity is below. Yeah. It's, it should be about, about eight and a half, I believe, to be to became sure. a barley wine. Yeah. I think it's eight and a half. Yeah. Uh, and then in our case it's only seven. Yeah. And that makes it old ale. Sure. Or the strong ale. Yeah. Then and it's you about same style with the strength. It's you it's bottle strength. you bottle the nine percent. What you bottle that up? Do you? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. Bottle. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. I must try some. Well, basically, <laughs> I'm not sure it's they should have it on them. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I have to go. Okay. And thank you very much indeed. And I'll, I'm, I'm 